Oh my goodness, guys. I couldn't even imagine that this boat would be this strong. So goddamn overpowered. Nothing in this game will be able to take you down. Any Division 2 mob will be for you like kid. <laughs> and if you thought that that's only on heroic difficulty, man, Butcher gotcha. I will cover you. And this is the final boss at Legendary Stronghold and he can't even touch me. Absolutely insane. This combination with Armor Regen and Armor Repair will bring you insanity. Guys, it's not even funny. At this point, Division 2 I think is pretty goddamn simple, but I have to warn you, this is an game built and pretty difficult one. Most likely you will not have the gear, but I think with some time and hey, we have a huge amount of time in this game because I don't know. We haven't received any meaningful update in one year, 16 months, who counts? Anyway, I would strongly recommend you to find all the necessary pieces to put this build together because you will be immortal. So goddamn overpowered, you have armor regen and the craziest part with that intro I showcased to you is that half of my talents wasn't even procced. For example, my preservation talent on my AK didn't work. With headshot you would receive in 5 seconds with headshot kill. I have to clarify. With headshot kill you would receive 20% armor back within 5 seconds. So essentially you would get 5 second armor regen, excuse me, 5% armor regen each second. No, I treat tripping, Jesus Christ. Essentially what it means, you would get 4% armor regen each second, for 5 seconds of course. And my mental backpack was empty, I didn't have any stacks on me, so my mental backpack didn't give me any armor regen whatsoever. And unfortunately the same story with skill efficiency, with full stacks you would improve your healing skills by a lot and with full stacks you would get 3% armor regen, so I didn't have 7% armor regen, do you hear me? 7% armor regen at those highlights and my skills were not buffed with memento backpack as well, so guys that's not. but before we continue as usual, I just want to let you know that we have some sponsor ads. My partners, Diving.net, are absolutely amazing. If you don't have team or teammates or time, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Diving.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles, they will complete any order twice as fast now everything happens with icon sharing basically they will do everything for you this service has been working for many many years they have tons of customer reviews you can check everything by yourself but now with my promo code rbd you will have 15 percent discount on all services it's amazing deal especially when they up are updating prices basically daily if you have any questions or you didn't get my promo code feel free to type your message and operator will reply you immediately but now let's get back to my legendary armory again skill repair build this one is out of this world guys reason is really really simple i have paired up huge amount of armory again and of course my mental backpack is super strong but skill reaper is one of the best secondary attributes in the game for pv of course i'm talking right now about pv and skill reaper is really really strong but of course i have protection from elites so that's the reason why changas and bosses can't even touch me and guys if you want to be updated to all the best pvp pv builds or in general with the best guides in the game butcherland is the answer hit that like smash that sub or leave a hateful comment 
uh, yeah and if you're new welcome to the family bastard so with no further ado let's get into it for specialization we're gonna use technician technician will provide us with one extra skill tier which will allow us to use one more offensive core attribute or armor core attribute but i would recommend you to use armor core attribute since we have nice armor again because in the end we will receive better survivability that's really important and for that reason alone i'm using preservation on my ak this ak is absolutely a bad boy a dirty one ak has absolutely one of the best base damage values in the game right now and preservation is really nice for your survivability and actually it works with skill kills as well so that's a really nice life hack but don't forget guys that with headshot you will receive 20% armor back within 5 seconds essentially what it means you will have 4% armor regen per second like I said if you're gonna pair it up with memento backpack you will have 7% armor regen alone from these two talents and at my intro they both didn't work my memento backpack was empty and preservation was not active but the worst part since I didn't have any stacks whatsoever with my mental backpack, my skills were not that strong, man. Once you will get all 30 stacks, my mental will kick in like crazy. One of the best exotics in the game for sure, but don't forget that Scorpio is really strong. So if you thought or maybe you are a little bit skeptical about this build's DPS output, please think twice. Like I have said million times before, Exotic Scorpio Shotgun is easily one of the best exotics for PV and legendary content. So first of all, we are using one of the hardest hitting assault rifles in the game and one of the best shotguns. By this time, you know that this weapon will apply all the status effects in the world and enemy which will receive all the stacks from scorpio shotgun will receive incoming damage by 20 percent more from all sources and that works again with your ak and scorpio shotgun or any skills in general and your teammates will deal more damage on those enemies so that's really nice weapon against bosses and chungus for pistol i'm using name it pistol with future perfection talent it will give us one more extra skill tier so with that i will receive more charges with my hive and lit one extra gem launcher ammo but main thing that future perfection will give us overcharge so i can get overcharged by killing non-elite enemies you don't have to try to kill bosses with your pistol just pick your cherries guys destroy non-elite enemies get overcharged and honestly you don't need that you don't need overcharge to be mortal with this build but it's really nice bonus so i would strongly recommend you to stick with that pistol one extra skill tier is really nice and i'm using alp summit mask again with skill tier crit chance and crit damage for dps output and alp summit as the brand set will provide us with extra reaper skill and reaper skill is one of the best minor attributes in the game for pv i want to clarify that for pv but for the chest piece i'm using perfect budget top chest piece with perfect unbreakable talent of course normal unbreakable would work pretty much the same way you are not gaining too much extra health but that works so goddamn well in this build and you will proc pretty often still unbreakable and that works really well when your skills are on cooldown when you need those charges back to your hive or if you run out of gem launcher ammo unbreakable can give you extra life and again really really nice synergy and since we have 1.4 million that makes your setup around 2 million armor i know that on legendary difficulty armor is kind of meaningless if you don't have re armor again but again for that reason we have memento backpack with full stacks you will have three percent armor again and of course full stacks will increase our skill efficiency and that basically works 
with everything with uh, skill damage skill haste and so on skill efficiency is improving your skills overall any skill in the game it, i think it's really simple to understand and again that's the reason why a memento backpack is really good for pve and at my intro you didn't saw preservation and memento at the full power and still mobs can't deal anything to me for gloves, actually, I'm using 511 named gloves, which would give us armor on kill. That's my little dirty secret, again, just to increase our survivability. So essentially, if you're gonna kill somebody with headshot, with your AK and preservation, and with 511 named gloves, you would get 30% armor back only from one kill. Again, you can kill non-elite enemy, that's it. And this will work again with uh, skills or drones or dogs together as well. And in terms of my numbers, you can see how much health I'm getting back from these both skills. But don't forget, I have protection from elites in my mods, reaper skill in my mods. You can play around how much you want protection from elites or maybe you need crit chance again it depends on which weapon type you are using but for me everything works really well together pistol will give us one extra skill tier we can get overcharge we have a huge amount of healing and i think this is a really complex though build like i said it's pure end game build for new players this could be a really tricky one to make but at the end it's totally worth it you see how you can be immortal and run without shield thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye